7000 Pro. Okay, so we're back in with this brand new phone from Blackview. It's the BV8000 Pro, and it's one of the most well-specced, rugged phones on the market. It's Blackview's new flagship phone. Okay, and the first thing you can see about this phone is that it's a pretty good looking phone. I really like the design on this one. It's rugged, solid, without being overly bulky. Uh, it's got the rubber, grippy bits all along the back here and a little bit along the sides. Uh, even these buttons here, look nice and it's got lots of screws in as you can see as well. It's got a metal frame for a lot of it and they've really matched the color of the metal in well with the color of the rubber. Actually, it'll come in three colors. The one I've got here is the gray color. It also comes in silver or gold. So naturally, as a rugged phone, one of the main features of it is its durability. It's got dust resistance and water resistance indicated down here with this IP68 rating. It's also resistant, or rather should be, to scratches. For example, got a pair of keys in your pocket, might rub around on the screen of your phone, but with this one, largely no effect. Not only that, but it should also be resistant to a certain amount of shock. Now, regarding the water resistance, I've brought my water cylinder here again with me to test that out. But one thing I noticed about the design of this phone, that the audio jack and the uh, USB port down here, USB-C, had no cover over of them. Like a lot of other rugged style phones have uh, very tight, solid rubber covers that cover those holes. But this doesn't have those, yet it's still supposedly water resistant. Is it really? Let's find out. Now, one of the things you can see as we're looking at this phone in the cylinder is that there are a few bubbles, although they're starting to slow down now, that are coming out from the phone, which would usually mean that there's some sort of uh, water getting into them and the air escaping. Um, but we'll be able to see for certain when we take it out how much that really affects the phone. Seems to have almost completely stopped now. Well, let's find out in a bit if it's still working. And after I've taken it out, if it is still working, I'll also give an update down in the description after 24 hours to let you know if it continues working a day after. Now I mentioned before that this rugged phone has very good specifications and we'll be able to see how well it runs with the anti two benchmark tests later. But for now I can tell you some of the uh, quick specifications like it's got six gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabyte internal storage and also has a full HD display. Its battery is quite large, 4,180 milliamp hours, meaning that it'll give you a lot of power and should last well over a day on a full charge. As I mentioned before, the USB port is a USB type C. It also accepts SD cards so you can extend the storage. Furthermore, it has touch ID, which is actually along the side of the device. Regarding the cameras, it's got a front camera with eight megapixels and a rear camera with 16 megapixels, both are Samsung cameras. The rear camera also has PDAF technology. And before I take this phone out of this cylinder, I'm gonna show you what kind of pictures it can take whilst still submerged underwater. So let me just grab this guitar playing stick fellow from behind me here and set it up over there so I can take this underwater picture. Hmm. Let me see. So with my phone here still underwater, I can take a picture, should be able to, just like that, yep. All right, now, with that done, hmm, let's see how the phone is holding up. Well, the screen's still working, five inch display there. Um, yep, so's the touch screen, and it seems as though I'm able to use the phone pretty much as normal so far. Okay, so I've got it out of the water and I still have one more thing to test out now that I've taken it out of there and it is the speaker here. It has a rear speaker and um, I just wanted to see whether after being dunked 
it will still play music. Now, let's go find out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Still working like that. Okay. So, as I said before, I'll show you the Antutu Benchmark score on this phone. And, as you can see, this scored a very respectful 64,000. Which is good, considering that this is a rugged smartphone for not too high a price. You can pick this up now from geekbarn.com for $260. So, if you want to check out more specs about the phone or buy it, then go to geekbarn.com now. Just follow the link in the description. And, don't forget to subscribe.